Hi guys, it's Olga. Welcome to another What I Eat in a Day video. I know you guys love those videos and I love making them for you. So this is my winter edition of What I Eat in a Day. It's full of warm and nourishing dishes that I'm loving at the moment. And as you know, I follow a whole foods plant-based diet. So all of the dishes are vegan, but do not be fooled. They're all extremely delicious. Let's get started. I start my morning with lemon water as always, but I wanted to show you this other variation that I love making when I want to kick it up a notch. This lemon water has some extra ingredients that make it even more detoxifying and cleansing for the body. So of course it has lemon juice and cayenne pepper. These are my two basic lemon water ingredients, but it also has some raw apple cider vinegar. This is my favorite brand by the way, and I love using it in my recipes. Apple cider vinegar is absolutely amazing for detoxification and improving digestion. If you ever have digestion issues, it's a really good idea to drink one tablespoon of ACV mixed with one cup of water three times a day about half an hour before you eat. I used to do it and it helped me quite a lot. I also add fresh ginger to my morning water. Ginger is such an amazing ingredient. It's also really great for digestion. Ginger also has anti-inflammatory properties. It can help you if you're feeling nauseous or are experiencing cramps. Basically, it's one of those healing foods that you definitely want to eat as much as possible. I make my morning lemon water water 2.0 exactly the same way. I boil some water and fill a large mason jar with it. Then I let the water cool down for about 20 minutes while I get dressed, wash my face and all that fun stuff. After 20 minutes, the water is still warm and I add all of the ingredients to it at that point. In my previous what I eat in a day video, somebody asked why do I boil the water and then cool it? And the answer is because I like to drink warm water first thing in the morning. It feels nice like a warm hug as opposed to drinking cold water. Drinking cold water in the morning can actually create a shock in your system. You also don't want to use really hot lemon water because you might burn yourself and you will also destroy a lot of the nutrients and the ingredients that you will be adding to your water. So that is why I let my water cool down. I really like how this lemon water tastes. I tend to make it when I'm on a cleanse usually because of its extra detoxification and cleansing properties and just sometimes randomly like today. <laughs> Alright, it is breakfast time and I'm making my breakfast quinoa. I've made a similar recipe with flaxseed and blueberries before, I'll link it for you down below. This one has apples, so it's kind of like an apple pie quinoa. I first cooked a little bit of quinoa, I'm actually going to mix it with some leftover quinoa that I have. When the quinoa is ready, I'm adding some cinnamon, nutmeg, coconut syrup and just mixing it all together. And here's my leftover quinoa, so I'm just mixing the two and then adding the apples and pecans. And the breakfast is done. Super simple and very filling. If you have leftover quinoa, you just have to warm it up and mix with the rest of the ingredients, so it's also very fast to make. Later, I had a banana as a snack. Banana is my favorite fruit, so I have it pretty much every day. And for lunch, I decided to make roasted pepper soup. So I first roasted the peppers and I filmed this on a Sunday, so I did have quite a bit of time to spend on my soup, but I got quite hungry while waiting for the peppers to be done. So I decided to make myself a quick bruschetta. This is the bread that I like using. Food for Life makes one of my favorite gluten-free vegan breads. And this is what it actually looks like just like normal bread. So I'm going to toast it really quickly. To make the bruschetta, I'm dicing two tomatoes, then adding some garlic, salt, and pepper. Some dried basil, unfortunately I didn't have fresh basil, I really prefer to use it instead. And some nutritional yeast for the cheesy flavor. I like to put a lot on each slice of bread because you know how I feel about tomatoes. They are my love, especially when they are with garlic. When the roasted peppers are ready, I roughly dice them. Then I heat some grapeseed oil in a large pot and sauteed onions and garlic for a few minutes. Then I add roasted peppers and diced tomatoes and cook them for about 2-3 to three minutes. I season everything with salt, pepper, paprika and cumin and continue cooking for 10 minutes. Now you can add some water or veggie stock to your soup, but I like it really thick so I don't add anything. I simply blend it in my Vitamix just like this. As always, all of these recipes will be on my website at feblunch.com, so don't worry, you don't have to write anything down. I have them all typed up nicely for you there. 
and this color kills me it's so beautiful so yeah like i said this soup is really thick uh, but this is how i like to make it on top i add a little bit of black pepper a few gluten-free croutons and avocado slices i think it looks really nice and as i told you in my ratatouille video i could eat the soup slash sauce for days a few hours later i had a pomegranate i don't really have much to say about it except for that i love it and it's really good for you and it's now dinner time i had a bunch of leftovers in the fridge so i decided to use them for dinner i had some brown rice that i made early in the week and some roasted sweet potatoes so i decided to make kind of like a spicy tomato rice it's one of my newest inventions i don't have a proper name for it yet the first thing i do is heat up the rice and normally i don't use a measuring cup but i wanted to make sure that i have all the measurements for you guys so i heat it up for a couple of minutes then i add roasted potatoes you can also use butternut squash or pumpkin and for the rice as well you can use quinoa buckwheat millet all of those will work just fine i really like black olives especially kalamata olives so i added them as well and while everything is heating i make the spicy tomato sauce first i roughly slice the tomatoes by the way if you have pre-made tomato sauce you can use that as well i didn't have any that day so i'm making my own quick version and it's very simple i just place my tomatoes in the food processor then add garlic a little bit of chili flakes cumin salt and pepper then you blend everything until all ingredients are well combined Ta-da, your tomato sauce is done. So now I just add it to the rice and let everything cook for a couple more minutes so that the sauce can warm up. My spicy tomato rice is ready. I like to add some fresh parsley on top and then I decided to make a small salad to go with it. So I just diced tomatoes, cucumbers, red onion and I season it with salt, pepper, lime juice and olive oil. Yummy, yummy. I had quite a bit of rice left so I just packed it in my fab lunch container to have for lunch the next day. Before going to bed, I decided to have a cup of tea and this is mulled wine oolong tea from David's Tea that I mentioned in my November favorites video. I didn't have it at the time to show you what it looks like, but here it is. I was craving something sweet as well, so I just had a couple of dates, a really simple way to satisfy your craving. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video and if you want to see more of what I eat in the day videos, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below. If you want to check out my previous what I eat in the day videos, I will also have the links for you in the description. I love you so much. I'm sending you many hugs and many kisses. I will see you in my next video. Bye. Hey guys, I just wanted to make a quick video to wish you happy holidays. I filmed this what I eat in the day video back in December and I only had a chance to edit it now. So I realized that I did not wish you happy holidays. So happy new year, Merry Christmas if you celebrate it. I hope you had an amazing time. I certainly did. I took some time off from work and from YouTube and it was so much needed and so much appreciated. I just had some days where I did nothing i just relaxed i played guitar hero i played uh, just dance with my brother and my sister i did some coloring because i got some adult coloring books uh, for christmas i ate a lot i cooked a lot and it was just great it was great to not have to worry about anything and just to relax and you know do nothing have no worry in the world i felt like a child i honestly felt, felt like i was back in grade five and on my christmas vacation it was great let me know what you did during the holidays and know that i love you so very much i wish you the best 2016 this year is going to be great and if you're trying to eat healthier or lead a better lifestyle know that you're not alone and I'm here for you whatever I can do to help I will certainly do if you have any video requests or if you have any questions for me please let me know in the comments or you can always send me an email I would love to answer you I love you guys so much and I truly mean it and I know a lot of youtubers say that but you are such a big part of our lives and uh, it's great to have this support in this community so yeah I love you very much I will see you soon. Bye.